Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. We've been going over Tropical Fruity Escapes, Tropical Fruity Fragrances on the channel. If you're interested in that, check out the previous videos. But for today, we're going to deep dive here into a first impression video uh, for Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream. Now, this is a flanker to the original release, uh, Sweet Tooth, there by Sabrina Carpenter. And I just want to go out on a limb here and say that it was by far one of my best blind buys uh, when it comes to celebrity fragrances. I was just blown away by the fragrance. If you're not familiar with the original uh, Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter, <laughs> look how many we have. This, I'm telling you, I did fall in love with this scent. I have the little travel spray. Um, it came with the lip gloss as well. Got it during Christmas time. I gifted it to my daughter. I truly fell in love with this scent and as long as they make it available, I will definitely repurchase. Um, this is a fragrance, the original Sabrina Carpenter that I truly enjoy for bedtime. It is very comforting, has a cashmere touch, has some marshmallow, a little candied ginger in there as well. I will link the full description, in the description, I'm sorry, I will link the full day wear test and review for the original just in case you're not familiar, um, you know, so that so that you can check that out. Now, the flanker just released. I went ahead and sent a, a picture to my husband. I was like, hey, you're going to Walmart. I need this. And he says, what kind of chocolate bar are you looking for? <laughs> it's perfume. It's not a chocolate bar. I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Although I hope it smells like I do want to eat myself. You know, definitely want to take a bite out of me. Um, or you take a bite out of me. Uh, either way. I, he was so confused. So I ended up getting a hold of it. After all, here we go. Here it is. It is pre-releasing, okay? So it is available on walmart.com if you are lucky enough to find it in stock. Um, it is stocked on the shelves as well. So it will run you, I believe, $29.99 if, if your Walmart is already carrying it. And what do we have? What is it giving? This is only first impressions today, you guys. I will not go into a lot of layering. However, I did already spray it and I already have ideas and what it's giving me as far as the scent is concerned, what I wanna wear it with, what I wanna experiment um, with it. If, if it's your first time here, I do like to do a lot of layering suggestions for you guys, um, you know, to fully enjoy your fragrances, uh, you know, layering with oils or body care or body sprays. So what do we have in here? Um, so not officially released, like I'm saying, on the Scent Beauty site is where I originally got the original fragrance from, uh, but they are carrying it at Walmart, just to reiterate. Okay, what is this giving? What does it have? In here, we have top notes of sugared lemon, orange zest, almond milk, and freesia in the mid, orange blossom, tiger orchid, dark vanilla bean, and vanilla. And in the base, sandalwood, caramelized amber, patchouli, and fluffy musk. I will say that the original fragrance had a musk sugar. This one does not have a musk sugar per se, um, but it is sweet, at, but the musk is very similar to the original, okay? Uh, I, I am picking up on that. Now, when this sprays out, my first impression is this is giving Carmex. <laughs> lip, Carmex lip balm is what I was getting. I was like, there are no waxy notes in here. I don't know where that's coming from, but it definitely came at me in that way. Uh, so that was first impression for certain. And then I'm starting, when it starts to dry down a little bit, I've only had it on for like 30 minutes. Um, it's not giving me its full potential yet. So I cannot wait to wear it a full day and see what it truly gives. Um, but I can detect in the back a little bit of that, those chocolate and caramel tones that they want to come out to play for us. Uh, it's really, really light though. I am getting a hint of citrus. The... Um, I just sprayed it over here. The um, the Carmex kind of scent that I was really like, oh no, uh, does start to dissipate a little bit. I can no longer smell it. 
where it has dried down already it's already giving me other things over here so i'm super excited uh, to wear this like i'm saying a full day to give you a full day wear test review and layering combos as well uh but I think that where this fragrance is going to shine, I'm telling you, I don't think you're going to be super impressed by this opening. I, for one, am not. It's giving Carmex. It's giving waxy. Um, you know, I was like, oh, oh man, <laughs> I don't know about this one. Uh, I really think it's going to be gorgeous. I do, uh, especially layered with a few things that I think it's already kind of reminding me of. So the fragrance is reminding me a little bit of the original fragrance DNA is here. I, I do pick that up. I'm saying like the original musk is here as well. And the other thing that it gives me is kind of a combination between these three fragrances by Bath & Body Works. This is Bonfire Bash and uh, Midnight Amber Glow and also Warm Vanilla Sugar. I'm picking up those tones in here, especially that cashmere and creamy sandalwood that you find in Bonfire Bash that I'm picking up in this fragrance. Um, yeah, for certain. There's no ginger in this one. There's no coconut milk like we have in the original. So it is leaning a definite different tone, a different route. And um, this one also gives me intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. It's the creamy sandalwood that I think is reminding me of these fragrances by Bath & Body Works. And the ambery tones. There's also like an ambery tone in here. And that's giving me this uh, midnight amber glow. This has smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. Now, while it might not smell like this exactly, I'm pretty sure it's going to layer beautifully with it. <laughs> but I'd have to experiment and let you guys know. Um, like I'm saying, the chocolatey tones are here definitely in the background. I think this is a fragrance that you're going to be able to amp up as much as you want. Uh, you know, whether you want to amp up the vanilla that we got going on in here. Um, accentuate that cashmere feel, like warm sweater, warm wool sweater type feel. Or the chocolate tones. The chocolate tone might be what was giving me that Carmexy feel in the beginning. The citrus is another one that I feel like you'll want to pull out of the fragrance. So uh, I'll be coming at you with some options for certain when I do the full day wear test review. Um, off the top of my head, I think this would go amazing with Choco Musk. The oil, if you're familiar with Choco Musk, it's an Arabian fragrance um, by Al Rehab. And I don't like this spray as much because it dissipates very quickly as much as I do the oil. This one does hang on. So again, uh, I think the chocolatey, chocolatey tones would kind of remind me here. Then I have Serendipitous that uh, kind of starts out with a little orange kick and then dries down to the most beautiful vanilla. I think it would go wonderful. I'm already layering. <laughs> I don't even know uh, for certain what the fragrance is going to give fully. But man, it, it sure is. It's it's looking promising. It, it really, it's going towards more the promising route than it is the not. And tell you the truth, that was also a lot of the consensus with the original Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth. A lot of people were like, this just is not working out for me. It dissipates so quickly. I don't enjoy it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's not a good cheap blind buy for me. And then you have the other, and I'm in this, obviously, this camp. I love the original Sabrina Carpenter. I think it is a wonderful fragrance for the price, I think, for what you're getting, um, for the layerability aspect of it and the enjoyability factor. Those are high with this fragrance. With these fragrances, <laughs> yes, there's a second one. I couldn't believe it. I was, you know, when, when it came out or when I seen that it was available, I was like, oh my goodness. I need to try it because I, I know I love the original. Oh, so we'll see. We'll see what it gives. We'll see how long it goes. Uh, if we have any, you know, certain transitions or notes that come out to play once it does warm up on my skin or what it gives on the clothes. I'll be back to talk to you guys about that. Okay, pretty soon. Uh, I'll definitely try to wear it soon and uh, let you guys know what else it would layer with. So thank you so much for tuning in to the 
first impression uh, review for Sabrina Carpenter's uh, Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream. We'll see. Do I get caramel tones? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. Oh, it's just nice. We'll see how it, what it gives you guys. Let me know. Have y'all got your nose on it? Have you tried it out? Are you excited? Um, are you going to go venture out and buy it? Or are you going to wait for the full day wear test? See how long it gives, what it does. Let me know. <laughs> y'all have a blessed your day, your night, or your evening. And you stay safe. Bye-bye.